Happy Friday to you and welcome to the happiest place on earth. Oh sure, we're not Disneyland, but there is no height minimum to enjoy the laughs. And as we prepare for a weekend of fun, let us take time out to remember Simon, who was called to his heavenly hutch this week. Simon is a three foot long, 40 pound rabbit who died on a United Airlines flight. From what I gather, Simon was placed on board a flight from London to Chicago. Then, before takeoff, an announcement was made that the flight was overbooked and somebody had to get off. When Simon refused to leave, he was dragged off the flight and died from embarrassment. It's not known what will happen to Simon's remains, but I'm just guessing that he will become a coat and an entree. Well, that's all the rabbit news there is this week, but there are more stories in the Friday Funnies which will make you smile and make you happy. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I like to wear jeans. You know, they're comfortable, they're durable, and relatively inexpensive. You can still obtain a pair of Levi's for around $30. Then you wear them, you get them dirty, and you sell them for $425. That's what Nordstrom's has decided to do. They're offering Barracuda straight leg jeans with a caked on muddy coating. So it looks like you've worked all day instead of playing video games in your parents' basement. And the muddy coating is designed not to wash out. I mean, this to me is a dumber idea than selling jeans with holes already torn in them, but not quite as dumb as the offering by the British fashion store Topshop. They're offering jeans for only $100, but instead of denim, they're made out of see-through polyurethane. Plastic pants. Now there, there's a great idea for summer, man. You can wear your own sauna suit to work and then change into your muddy jeans to make it look like, you know, you really do something. Or you could get a pair of Levi's for $30 and spend the savings on a giant rabbit. <laughs> if you like golf, a big breakfast before you start your round is important. But you may want to lay off the hash browns. Frozen hash browns sold under the Tweeter Harris and Roundies brands have been found to contain ground up pieces of golf balls. Apparently, the potato field is close to a golf course and errant balls sometimes fall amongst the plants. Then at harvest time, the picking machine can't tell the difference between the taters and the titleists. And when everything goes in to the hash brown making machine, the, the golf balls get ground up too. Now, if you've purchased any of these frozen hash browns, you are instructed to either return them to the store where you bought them throw them away, or use them as a $5 discount on your next round of golf. This next story was sent in by Donna Earl, a funny business subscriber who recognizes a good story when she sees it. Bradley Kellman is a 60-year-old man from Santa Cruz, California, and he was pulled over by the police because his brake lights were out. Well, when officers confronted him, they also discovered that Bradley's license was suspended and his license plates were fake. Then they noticed the printing on the side of the van, which in large letters read, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. Apparently all favorites of Mr. Kelvin. So officers were not shocked when they searched the van and found 6.3 grams of methamphetamine. Now, when Mr. Kelman gets out of jail, I would suggest that he change the printing on his van to read Puppies, Kale, and Easy Listening Music, so as not to arouse future suspicion. Hey, that's it for another week, my friends. Enjoy the beginning of May, and I will see you next Friday.